Welcome to the Natural Health Matters Podcast, where it's all about maximizing your health potential so that you can look and feel your best at any age. I'm your host, David Sandstrom, naturopathic doctor and biblical health coach, and this is episode number 140. So you might have noticed I've been posting episodes every other week, and it's only been a week since my last episode. So this is a bonus episode because I have a special announcement to make. Now, I am going to be working on uh, producing an episode every week. I want to go back to that as I, as I did before. Um, but I'm working on some things behind the scenes right now, and I need the time to, uh, to develop the podcast a little bit so that I can serve you better. And I think you're going to have a much more enjoyable experience with the podcast with the stuff I have in the works. Well, one of the things that I have in the works is I'm going to be rebranding the podcast uh, three weeks from now on May 22nd, not the next episode that goes live, but the one after that. Natural Health Matters is changing its name. And on May 22nd, Natural Health Matters is going to become Christian Healthy Lifestyle. That's the new name of the podcast. And uh, I encourage you, if you're watching the video version of this podcast, uh, stick around to the end. I'll give you a sample of the new artwork. It's kind of kind of cool, kind of fun putting that together. So making this decision wasn't an easy one for me. Uh, I really liked the name Natural Health Matters. Um, It was kind of a play on words. And the truth of the matter is, and it took me a long time to come around to this understanding, I understood the play on words, but most people didn't. And uh, the idea was behind the name Natural Health Matters was your health matters to God and your health matters to help you be better at doing anything in life. Uh, And on the show, we're going to be talking about matters pertaining to health. So it does kind of make sense once it's explained to you, but really nobody understood that from the name. It just, it just wasn't working. So it became quite challenging to tell somebody what the show is about. When I meet somebody uh, and they say, oh, you have a podcast, what's it about? And I tell them, well, it's about natural and holistic health from a biblical perspective. And they say, oh, that's, that's interesting. What does that mean exactly? So then I say, well, natural means no drugs or surgery. I'm not a medical doctor. We don't do that here. Uh, but I help people build health holistically, or we look at the whole person. And they're so confused and have to go on and say, well, God created human beings as a spirit. We have a mind and we live in a body. And if we really want to address our health effectively, we've got to address all three parts of who and what we are, uh, because God has preferences as to how we treat each one of our parts. And when we do things God's way, uh, we can expect better outcomes, and that includes better health. So... By this time, their eyes are glazed over, and I can tell they can't wait to change the subject because I've just thoroughly confused them. So I started thinking, and I came to this realization, and again, this was a tough one. If I'm having trouble explaining what the podcast is about, and I'm the one that's produced every episode, I'm the one that's curated all the the guests, I've done the uh, editing, I've done all the production, and if I have trouble explaining what the podcast is about, how are you going to do it? So if you've been listening to the podcast for a while, you know that Uh, I sometimes ask you to share the show with a friend. Well, if you're enjoying the podcast and you want to tell a friend, you say, hey, I really found this great podcast. You ought to check it out. It's called Natural Health Matters. And I say, what's it about? Well, it's, um, you know, it's about health. Uh, It's about holism. It's about um, personal development. And I can guess that the same thing that happens to me is going to happen to you. They're going to be like, well, I don't really understand what all that means. So it's just really, really difficult. So it's time for the name change. I think this is the time to do it. Uh, again, a couple of weeks, uh, three weeks from now, and we're going to be going to do that. So I started thinking, um, what is the show really about? So the show is really about living a Christ-centered, healthy lifestyle. So why not call the show Christian Healthy Lifestyle? I could use Christ-centered, but that's an extra word, and it just adds to the confusion. So I think Christian Healthy Lifestyle is going to be um, going to do a much better job of explaining what the what the podcast is really all about. It's going to be the same show, same content, same host, yours truly, uh, the same podcasting schedule, the same RSS feed, which means on your end, you don't have to change a thing. Uh, the show is going to continue to show up on your podcast listening platform. Um, it's just going to have different names and different artwork. And I'm, I'm going to be making some uh, a few other changes as well. One of the things I'm going to be doing moving forward is I'm going to be doing a lot more solo episodes. Now, I've enjoyed the guests that I've had on the show. There have been some great guests uh, with a lot of knowledge to share 
And uh, we're going to continue to do that, but I'm going to be doing far more solo episodes in the future. Uh, if you've been listening, you know that the last three episodes have been solo episodes. And uh, next week's episode is also going to be a solo episode, going to be talking about saturated fat and seed oil. So make sure you don't miss that one. That one's going to be another knock your socks off episode. But anyway, since I'm doing more solo episodes, there is less room for guests. So there's going to be fewer guests moving forward. So I get to be more selective. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, I have a pre-interview strategy call with each guest. And I let them know what the mission of the show is. I let them know that we're here to serve. Uh, we're not here to just sell people something. Uh, we're trying to make your life better. We're trying to give you tips and pointers that you can implement in your life that will actually enhance your health and wellness, enhance your vitality. Uh, and we're here to serve that to that end. That's what we're doing here. So you can count on it that if I have a guest on the show, uh, they're going to be vetted. Uh, they're going to have a great message and they're going to have a great delivery. All right. So because I, I have a, the opportunity now to be a little bit more selective with the guests that I that I bring on. The other challenge now is what do I call you, the audience? I've been calling you, uh, the listeners, the natural nation. And now that the show is not called Natural Health Matters, uh, you know, that really doesn't fit anymore. We could still use that. Uh, I'd love to know if if you if you have an opinion on this. We, I could still call you the Natural Nation. If you take the first letter in each of the words in the new name, Christian Healthy Lifestyle, you have CHL. And written out, that sure looks like chill. So I kind of like that. Uh, maybe I could call you all the chill crew, uh, something like that. I don't know. If you have a preference, let me know. Go to my website, davidsenstrom.com, and click on the Ask Me Anything button, and you can leave a recording there. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Another thing I'd like to do in the future is I want to create more chances to connect with you. I want you to be able to connect with me, and I want to hear from you. I want to, I want to spend more time connecting with you, the audience. And I want to be a bit more formal and intentional about that. Uh, I was thinking a nice thing to start might be a monthly Zoom call where we invite maybe, uh, you know, as many people as uh, want to be here, but have to limit it to probably 15 or 20 people and have a, a group session we can do a, a group health coaching session. Uh, I think that would be fun, a uh, monthly Zoom call. Uh, another idea I had was to uh, start an online community where we'd have an opportunity to engage with like-minded individuals. We could share our wins, talk about our struggles, uh, celebrate our victories. I think it would be a really cool thing to have. Uh, there's a number of different software platforms that I'm looking at. I know you can do a Facebook group, but I've uh, been resisting the Facebook group idea because I don't control Facebook. And, uh, you know, the, a big corporation like that may or may not be aligned with the values that we have. Uh, so I would prefer to have something more in-house, something that we had uh, more control over. Uh, Facebook, it is what it is, you know, and uh, really Facebook groups are kind of a dime a dozen these days. I want to do something a little more special than that. Um, so again, if you have an opinion on any of this, uh, you can leave a comment on YouTube. You can go to my website, davidsandstrom.com, and go to the Ask Me Anything button or the Ask, Ask Me Anything page uh, and leave me a message there. I'd love to hear from you. So as promised, I want to show you the new artwork here. Um, let me pull that up right now. Okay, so that's what the new artwork looks like. Um, I've kept a few of the things and gotten rid of some other things. So the, the human form there with the, with the hands in the air, that represents uh, physical vitality. So I definitely wanted to keep that as the logo. It's also the logo for davidsenstrom.com. Uh, and the rings around the person are two different colors representing spirit and mind. So we have the three parts of a human being represented with that logo, the body, the spirit, and the mind. Um, and, I, and I love the fact that the, the rings go around the person because it represents holistic or health from all different sides. So that's going to stay. Uh, I think that's worth keeping. And uh, there's also uh, some extra words on the, on the artwork. And instead of putting body, mind, and spirit and vitality, I uh, just simplified it to vitality, mindset, and growth. And vitality, once again, represents our physical vitality. Mindset is the mind or the soul. And growth will be spiritual growth. You run out of space for words very fast on a, on a little podcast artwork. So I kind of tried to simplify things, but still get the message across. So I chose vitality, mindset, and growth. So uh, that's what the new artwork looks like. Uh, I think it's a little bit more user-friendly, more descriptive of what the show is really all about. 
So be sure to tune in uh, next episode. And we're going to be talking about saturated fat and seed oils. As promised, that's going to be uh, a real jaw-dropping episode. It's going to be information that you may not have heard before. And it's going to be uh, really worth listening to. So I hope you enjoy the rebrand. Uh, I hope it makes it easier to explain the show to a friend of yours and share it with somebody you know. So again, not on the next episode, but on May 22nd, when that episode drops, Natural Health Matters is going to be called Christian Healthy Lifestyle. Thank you for listening. Thank you for following the show. I appreciate you. That's it for now. I'll talk with you next time. Be blessed. Be blessed.